Today we're going to take a look at how to make some stylized 3D planets in After Effects. And if you're going to try to tell me that After Effects isn't the best place to make 3D planets, then you would be right. But we can still do it and they look pretty cool and it's pretty easy. So let's get into it. <laughs> So the first thing I want to do is create a new composition that my planet is going to live in. So I'm just going to create a new planet composition. It's going to be a square because our planet is going to be a sphere. Planets are spheres, so that's debatable, but we're not going to get into that right now. Everything else doesn't really matter. We can change it later. Okay, so this composition, it can be whatever kind of design you want your planet to be. It's going to get wrapped around a sphere. Now, I just want this to be kind of generative. I don't really feel like creating a design, if you will, right now. So I'm just gonna create a new solid, whatever. And I'm just gonna apply a gradient ramp to this. I'm gonna go with some kind of trendy kind of sh um, stripe planet right now. So I'll create this gradient ramp. I'll add a mosaic to it, maybe, um, some less vertical blocks like seven or six. I'll do seven. And then we can add a, a tint to this also. Grab some colors out of our color palette here. Maybe like a pink and a yellow. That's pretty nice. Okay, and, and this, you gotta remember this uh, stack order matters, so whatever comes in the bottom is gonna get applied later. So now we wanna add our CC sphere. Now it's all gonna get wrapped around. So this is the kind of the basis of our planet here. We can adjust the radius to make it bigger. And now let's get into this. So if we were to kind of drop this planet into another composition, you know, maybe this will just work for what you need. You can move this around, you can scale it up, but it's uh, eventually going to get pixelated and you can't continuously rasterize it. It's not going to affect it, um, you know, but maybe the, this will be fine. You could kind of make it a flat earth if that's what you're going for. But you probably want to do your animations inside of this comp on the effect controls. So in here, we can scale up the radius and we can move it around and we can rotate it, okay? So now maybe we wanna add some gas to this planet. Maybe it's feeling gassy. So let's just go ahead and create another new solid. We'll call this gas. And let's go ahead and add some fractal noise. I'm gonna Go ahead and bring the scale up a little bit. Bring up the contrast a little bit. And I want this to evolve over time, just kind of randomly evolve. So let's add a time expression by alt clicking on this evolution stopwatch. And we'll type in time times maybe 100. See how that looks? It's pretty good, okay. And I want the white to go away here. So we're just having the black or vice versa. Maybe you just want the, the black. So let's add a shift channels onto this and we'll take the alpha from the luminance. Now we just have the white. Cool. So now we will also add a sphere on here and we'll just kind of bring down the opacity a lot and maybe add a blending mode on here, but we'll see how, we'll play with it more in a minute. And I'm also going to add a blur onto this. So let's add a Gaussian blur to kind of like blur this up, make it gassier, and then also add a turbulent displace so that this is gonna get a little bit wobbly like this, so it feels gassier. So maybe we'll bring the size down like that. The amount, mess the amount a little bit. And we're gonna add another expression to the evolution. So maybe time times 100 again. 
see what that looks like. Okay, that's pretty cool. So if we're gonna be animating this one sphere, I don't wanna have to do that with the, with the other sphere. I want them to be linked. So let's go ahead and name this planet my planet. Let's take this sphere, I'm gonna minimize all these little windows, and let's lock this here and do some work. Get our, get our gas planet, open this guy up, open this sphere up. Let's link our radius, our offset, and our rotation to, this, to our main planet pro properties by alt-clicking on each one and dragging them, the pick whips over. So let's just go down the line. I'll click on the rotation, drag it over. I'll click on the rotation, drag it over. We'll do this for each one. Okay, now that's cool. And the, the one thing I don't like though is that the radiuses are the exact same size. So maybe I want this gas radius to be like double the size so i'll do times two and that's too that's too big though so maybe it's times 1.25 and i think that looks that looks about right to me so let's change this blending mode Overlay looks cool, and we'll bring down the opacity a lot. And maybe this also, um, if we uncheck this, maybe this one also needs some kind of tint. Now this is a nice gas planet, but maybe I wanna add rings to this, right? That's probably why you clicked on the video. You wanna see rings? So let's go ahead and make an ellipse. And we don't want any fill on this. And we'll go ahead and make some white rings. And we'll bring this in to be the size that we want. It's probably like this. Each probably wants to be a little bit thinner. And usually these kind of have a nice unevenness to them I guess so I'm gonna duplicate this with command D and just start to like um, drag these around a little bit and give them a little variety so maybe it's like there's one like here and I'll duplicate this again and just kind of play with this a few times Okay, so I think that's a pretty cool looking ring. I'll name this ring. And I'm gonna go ahead and delete my gas. I don't really want it anymore. I don't want gas. And now we're gonna um, bring back our planet controls up here and lock this. Now let's make our ring 3D and click R to bring up its rotation. And we wanna parent these rotations to the planet rotation. So when we move this, our rings move. So we're gonna find which ones look like they correspond to each one and parent them. So the X to this X and see if that looks like it makes sense. So if this moves, that moves. But you can see this looks like it's moving opposite. So let's put a negative sign in front of that. Okay, so that looks like it's moving properly for now. Okay, and then since we're gonna wanna kind of move that into position, we can type in plus value at the end of that, and now we can move that into its kind of position that we like. And don't worry, we're gonna figure out the masking later, but let's, uh, let's keep it upright for now. And then I actually want to pick whip the Y rotation to the Z here 
and then also add a negative sign to the front. And I just found that these values kind of look the best for some reason. So now our X is rigged up, the Z is rigged up, and you know, you might have to play around with stuff and see what looks the best for your specific planet. And you might actually have to tailor your animation around it. So you're only animating in specific directions. Um, so it looks the best, but you know, hey, that's just movie magic, you know? Okay, so let's now work on masking these rings so it goes behind the planet when it rotates. So I'm gonna bring a guide down to the center of my, my comp, which is, which is gonna be 960, and then make a shape here, which can just be however big, but reaches the center. We'll call this top mask. Now I want to take this, make it 3D, and then pick up the Z rotation of this to the Z rotation of our planet sphere. And then if I make this ring an alpha layer, alpha mat, and hide our mask, now you can see that it's masking our shape. Great. It's masking it only in front. Great. So now we need to do one that's going to mask only behind. So let's duplicate both of these layers, drag them behind, and name it bottom mask. Now I want to, since I can't move this rotation because it's linked, I'm going to double click E, and I can either type in plus 180. And then I'll just flip it around, or I could type in plus value to free drag it, but that will, plus 180 will work fine. And now what we should see, since these are behind the planet, is if we move this, rotate it, one layer goes in front and one layer goes behind. Look at that. It's beautiful. Now we have our rotating planet. But if my math is correct, we should still have one more issue. If we scale this up, our rings aren't scaling. So if you're paying attention, you should be able to figure out how to fix this. But if not, I'll take you through it. What we want to do, grab our ring, the scale of our ring, and we're going to pick with this to the radius. But that's too big, right? So maybe we want to, after this parentheses, maybe it wants to divide by two. There we go, beautiful. Let's copy this expression, paste it on our ring, our other ring, and see what happens. That looks great. Now we have a 3D ring planet and you're gonna have some areas where stuff like this happens and i'm sorry it's not perfect you're just gonna have to avoid things like that you're just gonna have to build your animation around that kind of stuff knowing that you can't have every single angle that you want you can't have it all but you can get pretty close anyway let me know if you guys like this video or not i don't care but leave a comment or don't. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.